What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916, positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. There ain't nothing average about this channel. It's all about elevation to your highest level and fulfilling your true purpose while you're here on this earth. Pick you up some merch at BigHerc916.com. Now, getting down to being gangster. What is gangster? Is gangster trying to impress your friends, overextend yourself financially, trick off for some IG model, put yourself in debt to make it look like you're balling, flashing your possessions on social media bragging about all the dirt you did publicly showing out on camera is that gangster? do you get accolades for that? nah man see all these people that you see stories being written about or actually filmed documentaries being um, made about while they're in prison doing two, three decades life sentences Do you think that the people they're talking about, if they could actually talk, would glamorize where they're at today as far as their current situation? Nobody wants to talk about the prison aspect. They want to brag about the fact that this person maybe sold, you know, 2,000 keys, 4,000 keys a month. Or they had all this money and, you know, they were moving this much H or whatever the case may be. That is garbage, man. That, that is garbage. The person who, who, who got caught because they're talking, they're telling their story now. I've sat and talked to these guys in prison and they've lost so much the money they made in a short amount of time and what they did in that short amount of time while they had that money and their freedom doesn't equate to the amount of time and the situations they've had to deal with in prison. The depression, the loneliness, you know, oh, you're going to commissary big, you're, you know, now they got, you know, some people got cell phones and taking pictures and doing stuff. Dude, you're locked up. There is no glory in that. And for the young people who think that their name lives on if they've made a name for themselves in the street, dude, the streets don't give a damn. There's so many of those dungeons with doors waiting to be open for you to take their own bed spaces because <laughs> these these people make money off these private prisons, these institutionalized factories for slave labor that you're walking right into after you'd have made all this money or committed all these acts it's a setup it's a cold setup man and you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, your family it's hard for them to come see you most people got to live their lives anyway, so for them to come see, they got to take off work and, you know, basically uh, take time off of their lives to come see you and find, you know, places to stay at and do all these different things. And sometimes people get all the way there and they won't let them in to visit because of something that happened. So that trip was a, a trip that just is a wash. Relationships with kids are severed. Your kid doesn't have the role model, the dad, the father figure. 
And it's a repetitive cycle, just like the same cycle that led to that guy getting into whatever criminal activity that got him pinched and sent to prison. I'm saying, gangster man, how they've tricked us and it's totally, it's, it's, it's steady being just recycled in media and I don't care if it's, uh, you know, a documentary, entertainment purposes, whatever, or hip hop. The end of the day, man, the person who's the actual gangster, man, is not the winner in all this. You got to look at the resources that they're going to utilize to put that ass away, man. It's beyond what any of these these guys could ever imagine at the end of the day, beyond what they've thought they've made to sustain their lives while they were free. <sighs> Dude, the conspiracy cases... Is, is 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 just it's a, it's almost impossible to beat. I mean, you you don't know anything about the law to begin with, and then you're spending all your money on an attorney, and then you have people who one week link. I mean, it, the whole case folds. You got people telling. It's just it's just too much, man. And it's not gangster. It's gangster to if anything apply that same energy into some type of business whether it's a homie that was you know capable of making money and he you know turned that into something legit um building a, a, a um some type of uh manufacturing fabrication welding electronics you know sourcing that for something bigger but you got to think beyond the streets man the streets and in, in your local surroundings is not where it's at. You're, the streets is it's limited. If you're going to be a gangster, turn your shit international. Take your shit, um, you know, somewhere where you can get, you know, foreign manufacturing. You can get some type of labor because they're going to use your ass for labor once you get to prison. So you might as well go try to get you some cheap labor while you're free. And somehow, whatever it is you're purchasing, turn around and flip. Start a liquor company, start a, a a food company processing plant, you know, invest your money in the things. There's a lot of uh, distressed uh, businesses out there that you can go pick up and, 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 and turn around and, and then build a legacy for your family. But to just glamorize and focus on the flossing aspects of it and how many, you know, females you busted their cheeks, man, that's... That's short-lived, man, and, and that's where a lot of the gangsterism falls short because these guys never had a chance to make any of that business legit so that they had something going into the future and their kids had something, and it stopped. See, uh, uh, the, the, the Kennedys, the Bonfermans, the, um, the Rhodes, all those people turned their le illegitimate into legitimate. The, the alcohol... You know, the uh, the tobacco, all those guys, they built their businesses off of illegitimate businesses. They were, dude, <laughs> they now own major corporations, multiple corporations. A lot of these family names have, uh, you know, been maybe one step removed from whatever the brand is. But a lot of them are still on the brands that you buy. And they run the, they run the world. They didn't start off legit either none of these cats did man don't let them fool you <laughs> they 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 now fund the prisons that lock up these young gangsters these uh guys trying to be entrepreneurs you know uh you know hood uh businessmen but these guys are doing the same shit they just were ahead of the curb and basically controlled the laws and put the people in office that allowed them to make the laws so that what they did become legitimate and they were able to flip the script. You got to think and look at the big picture, man. They want us to believe and follow and think that all that stuff is glamorous so that we keep falling into that, that trap, that hole. See, you know how they have the uh, hole dug and there's a carpet over it and you walk and you step on the carpet and you fall right in the hole. That's what they're doing. None of these rappers are doing gangster shit no more. If they ever even did it. Why would you promote and tell somebody, you know, you're flipping sacks or pack packs and all this stuff? You ain't you ain't did that in years, man, because it'd be stupid to compromise yourself at that level if you're legitimately making money and and put your family at risk. 
but that's what's promoted because they feel that's the highest we can ever achieve in the in the streets in the hood you know black culture is the highest you can strive is just you know street money you know you send them one you got you got girls on you know fans only you, you doing packs and this and that no man it could be bigger than that you could be a, a major brand you could be a, your own pharmaceutical company you could be your own uh um goddamn grocery store you know distribution network you ain't got to stop it just some, they want you to stop there because they know if you look beyond that you would be a real threat man you street dudes you're a real threat if you realize it or not man if you stopped and really organized and stopped killing each other and and stop really beefing and 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 and, and, and tripping off of some of the stuff that you trip off of that you shouldn't be tripping off of man woo, you could turn the game upside down because a lot of you are very smart very intelligent but you're not using it in the right fashion it, it, it's 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 being dumbed down and and they are promoting you to dumb it down so that you do not grow past where you're at i'm just here man sharing knowledge information what i observe from a distance based on my life experiences having talked to guys who were kingpins guys who got life in prison guys who had life and got out after prison guys who got charged for crimes that they never even you know were caught with anything and then you know talking to businessmen and guys who were so smart in prison who given an opportunity could have been billionaires there's a potential for a lot of you guys to be billionaires but you gotta uh you got to look beyond what they're pushing in the narrative of media for for especially young black males and uh you know what they're trying to dumb you down to that's a dumb down bro i i mean you know if they if these guys were really on it and i'm not saying a lot of them aren't on it because they have you know a lots of entertainers and they don't really talk about it you know, um, Chameleon Air, he's in tech, uh, MC Hammer's in tech, um, you know, Kanye's in everything, um, Jay-Z, I know, is in everything, Nas is in tech, and he's in everything, you know, real estate, there's a lot of big things, but you put that in your music, and you start programming these little kids like what they're being programmed for right now, and you switch it up, bro, <laughs> you would have a, a major movement in our country, in our neighborhoods, gangsters can move the world, man, and you guys could turn it to a whole new level. Our kids' education would be different. In two generations, you would have kids basically uh, in uh, monastery schools, private schools. Education would be crime would drop everything. But you have to want to see the big picture. And as OGs in your neighborhood, people with influence. You know, even if you haven't been to jail or committed a crime, if you, you know, take part in, in, in spread this other part of the game and lace our people up, our young people, there's no limitations in what they can accomplish. You could have, man, cities owned by brothers who used to run the streets, but now they run the streets. You got to open up and see the big picture, man. Just kick back and look at it. You can't tell me. A lot of these places are set up for, you know, guys that literally, they set you up right for jail. You, you, you know, label signs you. They got somebody in the label that's ex-law uh, enforcement or with a CI. And, and then you bring your homie in there and the homie is, a, you know what I'm saying? And he might still be in the game, but he's trying to, you know what I mean? And next thing you know, he gets caught up and so-and-so gets caught. Dude, it's like it's like you guys make it so easy for him. And then you, you're talking and you're bringing partners because they want to sell up at a video shoot. And all it takes is one one video with one picture with one person to connect the dots. And it's a wrap for your whole clique. I know you got to do what you got to do because you're going to do it regardless. But think. Think about the big picture, man. Gangsters rule the world. And you guys could be doing a lot more if you looked outside the box and quit putting yourself in such a low level position to get caught up and 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 keep these people's prisons open, man. We you know, 
you're talking about prison reform, prison reform comes with us, first off, not giving them opportunities to put you in prison. That's the first step. I'll think these mugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't even let them give, give you, give the, have the opportunity to put you in there. Hey, man, I, I just trying to save our, you know, save our future. And I, I, I've, I've been in every facet of the system, and it was horrible. And I hate seeing young brothers, you know, young kids in um, lockup, foster home, group homes, and jail facilities, man, grown men doing life. And it's, it's horrible. And then you're seeing all the other trash out here getting away with things that don't make sense. So, Big Herc 916, man, just keeping you laced up. I know you're not the average motherfucker. So, I got some merch for you. Never settle for average. Because we ain't the average motherfuckers. Tank tops. T-shirts never settle for average because we ain't the average motherfuckers. Got them hats. Got them hats, man. BigKirk916.com. Pick you up some merch. Limited, very limited. I'm not going to have a bunch of these because there's only a limited edition of people who ain't the average motherfuckers. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.